Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for another video. So as much as I'd like to tell you that I'm about to go outside and use my brand new mower, unfortunately the weather has not been cooperating for me. A few days ago it was around 70 degrees, super nice here, and then this went and happened. Maybe this is for the best is I had a few things that I wanted to do to my mower before I used it for the first time. The first thing that I wanted to do was Plasti Dip the wheels. So if you've never heard of Plasti Dip, it's a sprayable rubberized type coating that you can use to customize the look of different things without making that look permanent. If you apply this correctly, it's completely removable and peelable should you want to go back to the original look. It's a super easy and cheap way to customize the look of whatever you choose to use it on. So let's take a look at how I use it on my mower. So I'm going to start here with some paint sealant for the paint. This is stuff that I use on my vehicles, but it'll work just the same for the paint here. This is an optional step. I'm just doing this because the mower's never been used, it's not dirty, and it's a good time to just put a little bit of sealant on there to just kind of protect things, and also to make it so that it's easier to clean. So I'm just going to put a light layer on here according to the directions uh, with an applicator pad, and then according to the directions you're going to let it dry as well and then go ahead and buff it off like I'm doing here and you'll see the nice shine underneath. So looks really good and also gives us a little bit of extra protection on the paint. First thing I did here with the Plasti Dip part is to put towels around the wheels. So if we get any overspray, it's just gonna go onto those towels and not onto the mower. Not a huge deal with Plasti Dip as you can remove the overspray pretty easily. But it's best if we can just prevent that in the first place. So I'm also putting a large blanket here over top of the mower. This is pretty much gonna cover up everything. So we're just gonna have the wheels exposed and they'll be ready to be sprayed. During this time, I was also warming up the Plasti Dip inside in some warm water in the sink. This is just a tip if you want a smoother finish. If you warm up the Plasti Dip before you spray it, it's gonna help give it a much nicer, even coat. It's also a good idea to use a respirator if you happen to have one. For a small project like this, if you have the garage door open and there's some air coming in, it's not a huge deal, but if you do happen to have one, it's nice to not breathe in these fumes. So now the Plasti Dip is warmed up and the first thing you wanna do is shake it really well and test the nozzle to make sure we're getting a good spray pattern out of it. So now for the first coat, I'm just gonna spray it on fairly lightly. Kind of use this as a tack coat so that the rest of the coats can stick to this. So don't go too heavy on this first one. So as I move forward, I'm going to be putting on three more coats, going a little bit heavier with each coat until the last one is finally a wet, smooth layer of Plasti Dip. This will give us a nice smooth finish at the end and will also allow it to be peelable should we ever want to remove this. It takes a little bit of practice to get a wet, even coat on there without going too heavy and getting some drips. So it's best to not go too crazy until you feel comfortable with it. And again, on the last coat, it's a little bit more forgiving once you've built up some Plasti Dip on there. As I'm building up the coats, you can see we're starting to get a much better finish. So I let this completely dry and came back later in the evening. Here you can see the finished product. So hopefully the weather will cooperate for us very soon and I'll be able to try this thing out. For now, Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you next time.